if there is nothing happening in that bedroom that ring is not a medal learn to always prepare for your man learn to always be ready for your man don't cry tomorrow when you hear there's somebody else accompanying your husband you will find him dancing on that dance floor better than your teenage son hi my youtube family welcome on set today the topic of today is intimacy that continues to destroy the union of marriage welcome on set today is more so of a discussion actually we're not going to be quoting any scriptures in the bible and it came as a result of realizing initially i thought that this particular issue is only affecting a few and especially in the union of marriage and this is one of the topics that i normally say it will help rebuild the union of marriage those who are still in the union of marriage there is no need to leave because now much of advice is out there you can learn and there's a lot of places where you can seek help on things that can actually be resolved because matters in relation to intimacy what happens in the bedroom as a couple it's a matter i believe that can be upgraded that can be rectified that one can change their modes and ways on how they operate in that intimacy place that we call the bedroom yeah so today i felt that we needed to have this topic because i have had a few discussions with quite a number of married women and at first i thought when i was married in that union of marriage it was only me maybe who used to go through that until i came out and mentioned a little bit about it that is when i realized that so many marriages are actually collapsing breaking and actually winding up to divorce separation and all that just because of the intimacy in the marriage the reason why actually some men and today i want to zoom in the church the holy than thou the pastors the the ones who need to walk out there and put up a show or portray you know role models in the church you know and i have come to realize after so much of having discussions with many women actually and mostly really staunch christians and um, wives to the pastors you know i've come to realize that this particular matter is actually the reason as to why some of these pastors some of these men of cloth are leaving the confinement of their union of marriage and going out there then later you are realizing that these men have sired even children outside their marriage and now the much we can do as a society is reprimand them and talk bad about them as if they're not human beings as if they don't have feelings or as if they're not supposed to be doing that you know and yet yes it is true they are not supposed to have left their union of marriage because this was something that can be discussed or can be resolved but who is talking about it no so i felt so deeply that it's important to salvage the union of marriages that are still there and we need now to have this discussion i felt that we are going to have a part two of this which will be profound and deeper but now we are just touching base to prepare you psychologically on the next topic that i'm preparing on the same yeah? so i called it uh, intimacy that continues to destroy the union of marriage and i will start with these statements eh? men are visual always know that god created men visual it is not a demon it is not hypocrisy or pretend that you're not visual just because you claim to be a man of cloth or you're born again or anything of the sort you are still a visual person you know so you will see nice thing you'll see a nice dress you'll see a curvy woman you'll see whatever you desire in your darkest desire if you have any of those you know so you will still see that in other women so your visual and then to come to the women i want to make this statement women are all about mental connection we normally say women are psychological but women are all about mental connection not only about body connection it's mental so preparing a woman is very key for that moment in the bedroom yeah so always remember men are visual so what am i telling women when i tell you men are visual 
Men need to look at you and see what they desire, what they like. And remember, because I'm saying there will be a part two of this, but I'll mention this. There is time for everything. There is time to dress for the church, for the platform you choose to be in, you know? There is time to dress evening gowns, to go out on a sexy um, date, you know? Because if I'm going out with my husband, I'm going out with my boyfriend, I'm going out with my lover or your partner, you're not dressing like you're going to worship, praise and worship in church. So there is time for everything. And where am I going to? There is time for everything, even in that bedroom. Because if you're going to sleep and you are a married woman, we have said men are visual. What are they looking at? You're wearing a whole long pajama or you're wearing sengenge niwaya, that's your t-shirt and a big trouser. And I don't even know what you have put on your head, you know? And you just dive in the bed and you're assuming that holy man will still look at you so pretty because he knows you are a woman. He will keep on telling you, oh, you are my wife, you are a whatever. But this is what I'm trying to say. People have lived in a very hypocritical relationship that by the end of the day, it is ruining their union of marriage. So when I started with that statement, men are visual. Women, you need to wake up and smell the coffee. Irregardless whether Yesu ni buona. Irregardless whether he is so born again. He was born by the same God we worship as a visual man. So not only you should know, I'm not telling you to know. I'm telling you to change for him because he's a visual man. And I repeat again, there is time for everything. Then I will go to the men now. And this is a woman point. Eh? Women are all about mental connection. Not only about body connection. It is all mental. So when I'm telling you this men, what am I telling you? It is psychological. It is how you prepare her. It is how you talk to her. It's the way you prepare her since morning because you know what you want in the evening. You know, so it is all about mental connection. So the woman is not much of a visual person. A woman is much of what you tell her. What is she listening? What is she hearing from you? What are you telling her? How have you been preparing her since morning? Because you know what you want in the night, you know? So when I tell you men, women are all about mental connection. You need to start knowing it's a statement of fact. And this is how we as women were created by God. So it is not a demon. A demon it has come into the household. Now, you know, this woman is no longer attracted to me. Why is she not attracted to you? Why is she not aroused by you? Maybe it's because of what is coming out of your mouth. Maybe it's because of your actions towards her, how you treat her, how you even treat other women in her presence, vis-a-vis -vis what you do to her at home, you see. And then I will say two major profound statements. Huh? I know now we are getting somewhere. Women need not to give up on preparation. Remember, I told women men are visual. Women need, if you still want to keep your union of marriage, women need not to give up on preparation. And this is sexual preparation for bedtime. So I'm not saving anything today because I've realized this is one of the major reasons why marriages are failing. And nobody is willing to really talk about it in black and white. You know, and especially when us who are in the church or those who claim, even those who lead the churches and the, you know, those who need to keep an image. Who said when you talk about sex or you, when you talk about bedroom matters, you have fallen or you're destined to hell. Then why did God create it? Yeah. So women need not to give up on preparation. And this is sexual preparation for bedtime. You need to prepare yourself. And what do I mean when I say you need to prepare yourself? How you look, how you present yourself, how you prepare your bedroom, how your bed is done, 
how you dress how you look it doesn't mean that when you wake up in the morning and you need to prepare to go to work or you need to go to church that's when you know that your face needs to look well done or your hair well done or your clothing well done remember there is time for everything there are clothes and garments for every moment you need to prepare when i say you need to have those special clothes for that moment okay so that even when your husband comes and he is greeted by the smell that is emanating from the bedroom because of how you are prepared for him you know there are people who say oh we can't oil ourselves because we are going to spoil the sheet there are lotions that are not oily and very good scents with very beautiful scents you know very good scents so learn to prepare on how you dress on how you carry yourself in the bedroom on how you smell in the bedroom on how you present yourself meaning how you entice your man in bed yeah that is for women so those who are still in the union of marriage do not give up do not give up yeah do not give up on preparation learn to always prepare for your man learn to always be ready for your man okay the other one is men need to prepare their wives the entire day before coming home after a long day's work so also men do not give up on your wives because remember back then when you are trying to get her did you give up did you get tired did you complain no you actually enjoyed the chase. Keep up the chase even after getting her. Learn to prepare her psychologically. Learn to prepare her mentally. By the small calls you make. By the short texts you, you send. You know? Those small things that you tell her. From the moment you left home. When you're working, you have free time. Short breaks. You have your lunch time. You know what to tell her. Prepare her so that by the time you're coming home to her, she can't wait to see you. Why? Because she's already ready. So these are the two things that both men and women need not to give up on. Women don't give up in your preparation. Men don't give up in preparing your woman psychologically for the evening let us learn to prioritize on the nights on the evenings let's not say that now we are all mature so there are more priorities yes priorities will always be there but let's learn to prioritize that one thing that will keep this union of marriage solid and that is what happens in the bedroom the intimacy in the bedroom it's therefore important not to give up. Both parties, husbands and wives, do not give up on each other. Do not, as women, do not give up on preparation. Yeah? And your presentation in the bedroom. And for men, do not give up preparing your wife for the evening. Don't give up. And I will say this, for women, you cannot say it's too much to prepare because I have had these sentiments and these sentiments they don't come from a place of happiness they come from a place of heart when you hear a woman saying this is too much I cannot prepare she's coming from a place of heart this woman has been hurt too many times by the husband that she feels there is no more need for me to prepare for what she is no longer interested and this is where now you're saying you're enduring in the union of marriage. You're just there thinking whether you are in or you're going to get out, you know. So do not give up women. Do not say it's too much to prepare for your husband. Yet, if you are dating, remember, try to remind yourself the days that you were dating your husband. The day that your husband saw you and you started talking. Every time you knew you were going to meet that boyfriend who ended up being your husband see how much time you took to prepare for that date that is the same 
adrenaline how do i put it this is the same thing the same way you should always continue preparing for this man because he is the same one he has not changed nothing has changed just because you've gotten married remember even for this husband of yours he is still a visual person so he is not going to complain because you're looking good in bed he is actually going to love it and even look forward for the next evening that you're spending the night together he will look forward to leaving the place of work and coming home to you you know so don't give up women and then for men remember unless you'll be lying the hunt groove is in build you know your hunters your visuals the same energy you used to portray hunting your wife before you married her your girlfriend before marrying her what has changed now the same hunt is still there the phone calls the compliments the text messages the reminders of how good she is how beautiful she looks or how attractive you love her waist you love her dimples you love whatever you claim you loved to your wife or to your girlfriend before you married her those same sentiments keep doing the same thing keep playing the same game you know do what you used to do until you got her so it is not that you have married her now you feel ah i have captured her so the game is over now it's settling you know now let us give children give birth and have children so there is no fun time anymore no more dates and this is very important men because i've also realized that you're very good once you marry your wife you close the chapter of taking her out so now the work of your wife is to stay at home your work every weekend is to go out and remember when you're going to this out the other women out there and that is how you're realizing that sooner or later even if you are a good man you'll be carried away and you'll wind up having another girlfriend outside your wardrobe just because you have mastered a very bad behavior and i will call it a bad behavior you have mastered a very bad behavior of going out on your own if you're going out to a particular place and you know there is a way that your woman needs to dress up kindly prepare her tell her today honey you need to put on a jeans today you need to put on a short dress because these are evening night out you know we are going for dancing put on your dancing shoes put on a sexy dress if she doesn't have go out there and buy her go out there even with her and shop for one you as men you as husbands these are the things you need to keep cultivating in your union of marriage just because now she is in your house and she's married and settled and even with children that doesn't mean that this woman she no longer likes to be taken out she no longer likes going out or even having fun you know that is not the end so you need to keep up the same thing you are doing the time you are courting her you are dating her you know keep it up so don't give up on her and for you women as um, as i'm also reprimanding or trying to tell men you take your women out there are women who the men will say you know can we go out oh me i'm very tired oh i don't feel like i want to go don't cry tomorrow when you hear there's somebody else accompanying your husband you have no time you're saying you're tired you're saying you need to rest you're saying i don't know you you have so many excuses and this man has offered sweetheart you know me i want to go out you know i like dancing or you know i like this and that and you you're just saying oh no ah, i'm feeling so tired i don't want to go do not complain tomorrow if you hear your husband has a company has a companion who has been taking her for dancing who has been taking him for dancing taking him to do what he likes because all these years you have been married by now you should have learned what your husband likes for men as well by now you should have learned what your wife likes and this is where i'm bringing you to this statement of communication but before i get to communication you need to have already known what both of you like what both of you need what both of you prefers you know desires and keep the fire burning 
now i will take you to this one sentiment which really angers me and i've had it from very many women sentiments like from the husband and even sometimes from women can't you see we are getting old can't you see we are old the minute you start bringing the word old in the union of marriage you are the one feeling old the other party is not feeling old but i have also come to learn there's also a bit of a gimmick in that men who like going out and they say oh we are out with the boys we are out with the men they keep on saying now if the wife complains that you're always going out and leaving me behind you're like don't you know tunazeka we are getting old you who is going out with the boys or the men you're not getting old but your wife is not supposed to go out with the girls or the other women she's supposed to stay at home because she's getting old you need to rethink that statement because as men one thing i have learned then they're not getting old because the same men who are telling their wives can't you see we are getting old when they go out there and you make a mistake of following them or sending your investigators women to find out who your husband is with that old man he has said we are old you will be so surprised you will find him dancing on that dance floor better than your teenage son you know and you're getting old so you as a woman you need to sit back and the same way i always say call yourself for a meeting find out why is it because when he told me we go out i used to say the same we are getting old i am tired or what if that is not the case you the woman who has been telling your husband i also want to go out and he's telling you giving you funny excuses lame excuses we are old you're tired you have not even finished your chores don't you think you've just left your place of work aren't you tired he's just looking for every excuse all he, he will even lie to you oh i've gone to this place yet in real sense he has gone out because he will tell you maybe i've gone to a shop or i've gone to somewhere for a few minutes i'll be back few minutes become an hour two hours three hours midnight 4 a.m in the morning you need to really think okay and there comes a time and this is for men there comes a time there's an age that comes that time for lying ceases let me give you an example there are people who are in their fourth floor late 30s 40s 50s some even in their 60s and you're still lying to your wife to go out at that age you really need to rethink and maybe that is where i'll say maturity is needful because there's an age in life where lying ceases it is either you want to be seen with me or you do not want to be seen with me okay it is that plain and simple if you as a man you don't want the company of your wife then let the wife also find her own company when you go out on friday come past midnight let her also go out on friday where she's needed and also come at midnight and you all are both happy enjoyed your life but now the question is why are you for all of a sudden you're not compatible why would she find happiness with a group of friends on the north and you on the south what is going on there is either communication breakdown there is either a lying going on or there is either the man has already moved on but of course he wants to eat there and eat home because number one is not ready to let the wife go but he still wants to keep the other one so any of the above is happening but before we get there can we communicate before we get there can you as a man tell your wife even if you have given birth even if you have please try and maintain and that is why i was telling women prepare don't give up in preparation men don't give up in helping your wife preparing her psychologically for her to have a reason of even preparing why am i preparing and right now i'll tell you there are women who are listening to me and they will say why should i prepare because of what she has been receiving from you the husband there is no need to prepare because by the end of the day you will come midnight you will come past 3 that bed nothing happens actually there are those who are even sleeping on separate beds so you are preparing for who 
and when you go back now as you're listening to me if your marriage has reached that place where you are enduring each other you're sleeping you're in one bedroom but there are two sets of beds or you are in the same house but the wife sleeps in the guest room and the husband is in the bedroom if you have reached that place you need to now sit as two grown-ups and make a decision because by the end of the day one of you is wasting the other's time by the end of the day one of you has already moved on or else you are keeping the other one tied and in most cases the man has moved on but the woman will never be allowed to move on so it is important to have that solid discussion because if there is nothing happening in that bedroom that ring is not a medal you're keeping shining oh i'm mrs so and so mrs so and so and what is there nothing things ended long time ago some of them are just saying i'm just sitting for the children that one we have had so many discussion that is nonsense you're not in that union of marriage because of your children you are there for your own selfish reasons. There are others who are in the union of marriage because the husband is still providing and I'm not able to provide because I have taught in the past, narcissistic especially, narcissistic mindset, they will always make you not have work, have an income. They tie you down, then they provide everything so that then they continue enjoying life outside while you endure in your union of marriage. And that is why I'm saying one of you is lying to each other. Because if you have reached that place of saying we are too old, I can't take you out with me, you are no longer attractive. There, there are even men who, I had a sentiment just the other day, I won't mention from who, but the husband was saying, even if you try to do much of exercise or anything, there is nothing changing. You know, narcissistic mindset, they will always want to show this woman you're nothing. They will want to show you you're not attractive. And even if you're attractive, they will try to bruise you. You've had men who have even gone to extreme of burning the faces of their women, cutting their hands, pulling their hair like it was done to me. You know, because they know you're attractive, by the end of the day, there will still be a person who will see you out there. But they will try to demean you, to kill your self-worth, self-esteem to the extent that you feel you're worthless and then on top of that if you're not working maybe he stopped you from working you can't afford to buy a good pair of shoes you can't afford to buy a good pair of clothing you can't even afford to take yourself to the salon to even the least bit do your hair you know you can't even do your nails you cannot do anything and this is where they wanted you to be worthless so that nobody can look at you and then by the end of the day his life is going on and you'll be surprised he already has another home you'll be surprised he's enjoying his life from actually from friday you'll not see him until monday or sunday evening so his life is very good out there he's well taken care of he's well taking care of himself you know but you your life is over so you as a woman you need to start asking your question what are you still doing in that union of marriage if there is nothing happening in that union that matrimonial bed what are you doing and are you thinking <clears throat> how foolish as a woman would you think that you're going for one month two months one year three years without nothing happening in that matrimonial bed and your husband is not getting it elsewhere you just have to be foolish to believe that and remember he will not allow you to go out because these are the kind of men even when you're working and you're late and you're home by eight o'clock he will even lock the gate and tell you to go back where you're coming from because he's assuming what he has been doing out there is the same thing now you have started doing so by the end of the day you end your life and his is moving on smoothly so the topic of today i don't want to go are really outside the topic because this topic of today is really based on the unions of marriage which are still there and i know yes and i've mentioned yes that there are extreme cases that even as you're listening to me today maybe you feel as a woman there is nothing to salvage anymore you feel as a man there is nothing to salvage anymore but if both of you can still think or you still think there is room for change of improvement after watching this video kindly have a sit down kindly have a candid discussion discussions cost nothing
and both of you be civilized both of you be grown up both of you swallow your pride irregardless of how much you have hurt each other sit down and see whether you can mend that which was broken Thank you.